Hello and welcome everyone. My name is Rob Simons and I'm the board president of the Downtown Chamber Series. And I'm joined tonight by three wonderful musicians, Tina, Tim, and Ian, who are making their way up from California and from Tucson to play for us. And they're gonna bring a very eclectic trio program on November 19th and 20th to one of our very favorite venues, Legend City in downtown Phoenix. Welcome everyone. Thanks for having us. Thanks Rob. Thank you. you guys are bringing an eclectic program to put it mildly. Can you guys tell us a little bit what to expect from this program and what you're most excited about in presenting it? You're right, it is a very eclectic program and each piece has a kind of different language, which is really exciting for us to play. And I think also really exciting from an audience perspective as well. You know, I think in a way, each of these pieces provides a kind of different perspective on levity. Um, the Martin New in some ways is, is very silly, even though it has sort of darker moments. Um, and of course, um, the, the wonderful trio that you introduced us to has some, some really wonderful sparkle and, and some, uh, some sort of lighter colors as well. The Haydn, of course, um, sort of iconic gypsy trio, which has this um, sort of normal for Haydn, but for anyone else, kind of crazy last movement. Um, and of course, the Ravel, which has just an incredible panoply of color, colors and, and light textures. Um, so I, I like to think of this as, despite the fact that it is musically incredibly heavy, there's a lot of sort of uh, wonderful ethereal qualities to it as well. That's fantastic. Tia, I guess this is a bit of a reunion of sorts for you guys. Could you tell us about the interpersonal relationships here that are kind of coming back together for this stage and this concert? Yes, sure. So Ian and I knew each other from college about 12, 14 years ago. Yeah, well, yeah. I think 14, yeah. 14 years <laughs> ago. And we played a few programs together at Indiana. We mm -hmm. did a couple of chamber recitals right, uh, and a summer festival together and we just clicked and it was such a great call that I got from Ian when he asked me to come play the Rebel Trio. Yeah, I figured this 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 was just an opportunity to bring in an old friend and have, have a good time playing, especially, I mean, the Rebel, especially. I was just right. like, Tina, <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> right, yeah. So. And Tim and I also went to school together and yeah. we have a lot of mutual friends yeah. and it's been really great to get together and work on this amazing music together. Well, we're awesome. excited to host this reunion. I have to ask, so um, about TJ Cole's piece. Uh, I met TJ, young, dynamic American composer a number of years ago. I played their solo works and orchestral works. And I suggested to Mark that if the opportunity ever came up to have a trio play this piece, that we should absolutely program it because I, I love this piece. What can you tell us about the music and what has it been like to learn it? My my initial reaction was it sounded like really cool video game music. <laughs> uh, it's to, it, like, it just has that sort of sound to it. I, I don't know. I, it has I don't know where to go from there. <laughs> it's really visceral. It has a lot of kind of energy that is. It brings up. A, it conjures up a lot of images. I think. Mm -hmm. and yeah, cool sounds. Just I mean, these running piano notes the whole time, and then right. just sort of 
kind of yeah, visceral sort of rhythmic stuff going on underneath and everything. Yeah, it's I think we're still we're still very much kind of getting to know it. Mm -hmm. Um but you know, like we were what we were talking about before, it's it's really different from anything else on the program, and that makes it a lot of fun uh, when we're rehearsing as well, because we get sort of these different different ideas. Right. And I know you guys need to get back to work, uh, and I appreciate your making time for us. Um, but finally, Ian, I'd like to ask you about, because some of our audiences will remember you from, from past performances. In fact, about this time last year, you and John mm -hmm. Milbauer, who has since moved from Tucson to become the dean of the DePaul School of Music, um, joined us at Legend City to perform. Could you tell us a little bit about, from your perspective as someone outside of Phoenix, what's it like to perform on DCS? And maybe perhaps specifically, what's it like to perform at Legend City? I mean, my, my immediate recollection of last year was breaking a C string in the middle of performance. Right. <laughs> a little scary. That's the, the, the big fat string on the instrument, the one that nobody ever breaks. And I had I broke it and we ground to a halt in the middle of the performance. Uh, I mean, it was a great show. It was a lot of fun. I love, especially DCS's um, focus on visual art throughout the performance. It's, uh, it's in art galleries, but yeah. Uh, and you know, at intermission, everyone's running around looking at the, the art on the walls, and it's just a, a really great sort of communal experience. Even even us backstage, sort of wandering out and looking at the art at intermission as well, while I was waiting for a delivery of a C string um, <laughs> from a friend, sort of last minute pulling the rip cord. Um, so to speak. Right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, every time I played with DCS. I, variety of venues but legend city especially it's just really really a nice experience everyone loves going there uh looking at things watching the performance and just talking to people before and afterwards uh it's just a lot of fun all, all around all right guys it's been fantastic Ram, but i wanted to say thanks again for making the time again the concerts are november 19th and 20th at legend city amidst the annual chaos theory exhibit and the ticket link will be in the links below and thank you again we'll see you soon Thank you so Thank much. You so much.